Well, this is the first time I've started an online assembly. I hope you are really going to enjoy it. The year leaders have had such great fun recording this assembly for you and it's something that we're going to do regularly because we really are missing you and it's important we keep in contact. So many of you have engaged with that online learning and done so well. I've looked at some of the work that you've been uploading on to show my homework and the effort that you're putting in is absolutely fantastic. So once we are all back together in the academy, it's really going to be good to really spur that learning on. So thank you for all your efforts. It's absolutely brilliant and the teachers are so pleased. With regards to building, the new building is going to be ready um, for September, so that's really good. And it, when you have your English lessons, that's where the English lessons are going to be, is in the new build, as well as your Spanish and French lessons. So you will see that new build and it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's really, really good. And I hope you're all keeping well and safe and that you're following all the guidelines from the government, which we all are with the safe distance and also keeping alert, all those phrases. And I've seen so many of you engaging with those activities where we've been clapping um, for the NHS and all the key workers and keep engaging with those activities because it's great to see because it isn't just about the learning. It's about all being one as the Belfair's team because we really do miss you. But anyway, enough from me. Enjoy the assemblies. Well, hi Year 9. It's been a very long time. Um, I think this is the quietest you've actually come into assembly. Um, I'm really happy to be presenting assembly to you today. I, I can't believe it's been eight weeks since I last spoke with you. Uh, when I informed you that the academy uh, was sadly closing um, and reminding you to stay safe, encouraging you to maintain a routine and continue with your studies, which is really important. Um, as you know, you're living through history, we all are. Um, it's history in the making. And despite the challenges that we face, uh, people never cease to amaze us, like our awesome heroes here. Those people that are actually um, contributing to the country by um, conducting themselves selflessly, working for all of us, working on the front line, making sure that they keep us safe, making sure that they deliver, the, you know, the postman delivering our parcels because we can't go to the shops that we would normally shop at, delivering those parcels um, to us so that, we, so that we can stay safe and remain in our, our homes. Um, the nurses, the doctors that are on the front line making sure that people are, we're getting, making people well, making sure that those people go back to their families. Um, it's really important that we recognise our nurses because Mrs Barrett sent an email out to all members of staff to let us know that it's actually, it was International Nurses Day this week. So I think that's quite poignant um, that, that we do that. And how we recognise these people, these very awesome people, and I like to use that word because I think it's quite a powerful word, um, is that, that each week we come out and we clap for those heroes. But also Mrs Barrett let us know that um, 30 of our students that came to Belfair's actually went on through the health and social care course that we run here. They went on to become nurses and they are actually on the front line. We've also had doctors too and they are working tirelessly um, as we speak. So we really do need to recognise them. And we do that by being strong together. We do that by clapping them every Thursday. I know that I do that. I come out with my husband and my daughter and with our neighbours and we clap and we recognise the wonderful things that those people are doing. And I know that you do that too, as you can see from those pictures. So how are you being awesome? How are you contributing? How are you um, conducting yourself? Um, are you helping others? Are you helping others in your family? Are you helping others in the community? I know that I've been in touch with quite a few of your parents and they are so proud to tell me of the things that you're doing at home. Uh, walking the dog, mowing the lawn. Um, I know that somebody's actually been out um, delivering food parcels within the community. I mean, that's just commendable. I love to hear of that. 
I know that that's going on in my community. I'm actually, and my husband, we're doing shopping for an elderly neighbour of ours because she can't get out. And she is so grateful. The impact that you're having on your community and your families is immense and you need to carry on doing that. And you'll be really proud of that. Uh, it's important that you recognise that that work that you're doing, you recognise the work you're doing from home, so that you've got something to remember during this historic time, during the time of lockdown. So if anybody speaks to you and says, what did you do during lockdown? You can say, well, actually, I really became uh, more of a part of my, my community. I helped a lot of people in my community, um, particularly my family, and I've been very, very supportive. Um, uh, we are aware of the work that you've been doing on Show My Homework, some outstanding work. Your teachers have nominated many of you for spotlights, and I'll go through some of those in a moment. But they've nom nominated you, they've sent me wonderful emails for some of the outstanding work that you've produced. And I want you to keep doing that, because that makes sure that you've got a routine going. It shows that you care about what you're doing, and, and, and we will be back. I don't know when that will be, but we will be back here and you will be prepared. So it's really important. I know a lot of you are sitting on your computers. I also know that. Uh, so just to make you aware of that. Um, but there's a time for that. And it's really important that you, like we said before you left here, to keep that timetable going and make sure that you're producing good work. So all those things that I just spoke to you about, all the things and the ways that you are contributing, I want to clap you now. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm clapping you for your awesomeness. So thank you very much, Year 9, and I want you to continue to do that so that then when I come back and, and we meet again, I can remind you of all those things you did at this time. So we've still got some time to go before we come back. And I want you to think about how you're going to continue to contribute, how you are going to continue to be awesome. And I want you to look at our values. And some of the year leaders, we got together and we spoke about how students could, could continue to contribute to the community, to their families. And to continue to be fantastic Belfarians, Belfair students. And it's by looking at our values. It's about commitment. It's about you showing continued commitment at this time. Commitment to your studies, commitment to your family, the community, and to each other. And a commitment for staying connected. It's really important that we stay connected. And that's why I'm really enjoying speaking to you today. About respect. Respect for everyone. We all deserve respect, and even more so now. And you're showing that every week when you come out and you clap. We are all doing that. And I think it's really important to continue to do that. Excellence. Of course you're excellent, but remember to continue to be excellent. And one of the things I wanted to mention here is about the Excellence Project. project. I mean, we still have our excellence framework. We're stu still looking to recognise those excellent students. And how we can do that is by you taking on that research programme and, and, and that project and, and seeing what you can produce. And we've already had a student in Year 9 that's produced some fantastic work. So I'd really like you to continue to do that. Uh, Self-belief. Believe in yourselves. Because you've got so much potential, you've got so much that you can be doing at this time that you can talk about later on when you are asked. Because you will be, because this is history. And you will be asked, what did you do during the lockdown? So have some self-belief and have some strength. It's important that you've got the strength because at times being isolated can get you down but you need to sometimes have that resilience and find a strength from somewhere so that you can continue. And that's why it's really important that you support each other and you support your family so that you can support other people. I just wanted to share some spotlights with you. I know that Emma, Emma, I've had lots of, of spotlights for Emma and Connie, uh, many for Luke, there's another one there for Connie. Nura, commitment, there are many there for commitment. It's really important that you stay committed. Ralph Archer, well done Ralph, I'm really proud of you. 
Um, I think you've shown excellence during this lockdown. And there are many more. Toby, Quinn, Henry, your name's popped up quite a few times, so well done to you. And the list goes on and on. And a special mention to Ollie. I spoke to his mum uh, and she told me that he has been so supportive at home um, because she is actually a key worker and I know many of your parents are. And she's out and he's having to really step up. So well done to Ollie and to, to the rest of you that are doing that to support those parents who are key workers and having to go out to work. Because there's also a trust in there and that's really important. And like I said, the list goes on. I'm really, really proud of you all. Well done, Year 9. So, final thoughts then. I know it can be tough, and it is tough, um, but what keeps me going is that I, I imagine all your faces, your smiley faces. I think about the banter that we have. I think about, yeah, maybe I have to tell you off sometimes because you haven't done what you're supposed to be doing. But that keeps me going. Those are those memories. What also keeps me going is the emails that I receive about the, the fantastic work you've been producing and when I hear of all the things that you've been doing in your community. But if you are feeling down, then just think about other things that you can do that can lift your spirits. It's like staying in touch with your friends, having a joke and like I mentioned, a little bit of banter. But remember we have the enrichment programme. There are activities on there that take you away from the academic side of things and maybe will stimulate your brain in a different way. But remember, just stay strong, stay happy and speak to people. And just to let you know that I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you. Take care, Year 9.